Brrrra. What's going on spicy gang and I am announcing the 5000 subscribers goal for the next giveaway where I will give out 8 Amazon gift cards of $25 each. So go ahead, subscribe and like this video. Also let me know in the comments if you subscribe so I can show you some love. Congratulations some young brook dude for the comment of the day. Brrrra. Karen harasses me in the store and asks for my manager, among other things. Some context, I am 16 and I don't currently work anywhere as I draw commissions. I always carry my sketchbook with me, this will be important later on and it is fairly full at the moment. Now onto the harassment, I had recently gotten my mom's old car, she had a new one now, this was worked out previously and decided to go for a grocery run mainly because my mom is off at my grandparents house because of some in real life reasons. I get the list from my dad and everything seems great, everyone is super nice and this particular grocery store just got remodeled so I was having trouble finding some things but not too bad. The staff at the grocery store wear a blue polo, black pants and sometimes a blue apron with a store name embroidered on it. I was wearing a blue t-shirt and some very comfy black leggings and this was just a normal outfit for me as it helps to keep me comfy but not hot. I was getting some eggs when I hear a loud excuse me from behind me. I turn around, hello? I ask waiting to be polite but not be rude. Me, Willow, King of Thorns, K, the wild Karen, OE, the older employee who helped me earlier and was very nice. Excuse me, I need help finding this item, this item and this other item. Oh, I'm sorry ma'am but I, I don't work here. There's an employee over there though. I point at the older employee who walks over. Hello ma'am, how may I help you today? It's important to mention that at this point, I have my sketchbook in my cart, it is my son, thank you very much. Why won't she help me? And she points at me. I don't work here, I'm here to buy groceries. No, you obviously have on the uniform, you work here. She stalks towards me, y'all I ain't kidding when I say stalk. I don't work here, like I've told you, my shirt does not have the grocery store embroidered on it. Karen is at my cart snatches my sketchbook. Well, I am taking this for compensation for my time wasted. Ma'am, you, you, you can't do that, that's theft of property. I am fuming. I would give it back once I see your manager. I don't work here, how else do I say it? I will get the store manager if you give her back her sketchbook. Uh, fine. She slams my sketchbook onto my card and bends one of the corners permanently. I glare at her and walk off. That's the end of this experience. I don't want to go to the grocery store alone again. Well I'm sorry you don't want to go again because of this horrible person. And I understand why your sketchbook is so important to you. To me that's my laptop. No one can mess up with my laptop. I am not a student. Does not being a student count as not working here? It is an oldie, roughly 2002. But still, for context, I am 5 foot nothing and around 110 pounds soaking wet. Yeah, I am small. My little brother, however, is not. He's around 6'2", tall and thin. When he started high school, both of our parents were working so I joined him at what's called freshman roundup. Usually a few days before the school year begins, the classes come to the school for registration paperwork, student IDs, photos, yearbook, etc. The freshmen who come alone tend to get edge on haze in some ways so most either came with parents or older siblings. As we are in line outside waiting to enter the cafeteria, a blonde teacher walks by. She glances at me, does a double take, then spins to face me. Tease for the teacher and me, duh. What are you wearing? Huh? That t-shirt is not appropriate. Excuse me? My shirt hides some minor swear on it, like hell or crap. You can not wear that here. Go home and change now. Are you crazy? I'm not a student. I'm 22. I'm here with my kid brother. He's the student. I gesture to my brother, looking very respectable in khakis and a polo. She looks at him 
and realizes that he and about a dozen students around us are fanning back hysterical laughter. My brother can't contain it and lets out a loud laugh. A few others follow. I am angrily glaring at her while she's looking around. She just looks at me with this stupid expression and walks away. My brother and his classmates laugh about it, then tease me about being so small I pass for a freshman. No worries, if you look young, it, it can happen that you might pass as a freshman. But just remember that your homework is due for next Monday. Happy listening for this following story. A tiger mask shirt equal a Hobby Lobby employee. I was wandering around the back speedway of Hobby Lobby, waiting for my crafty random acts of cards, mod girlfriend, to buy rubber stamps and ink. A tall middle-aged country looking guy is power walking up the aisle, looking for signs, looking like he needs to pee. Looking for the restrooms? I ask. He says yes. All the way in that corner. I say pointing. I've been known to dabble in urinating myself and I frequented that very corner not 10 minutes ago. 5 minutes later, he asked me where the stencils are. I don't actually work here, so I'm not sure. He looks at my teal tiger mask pro wrestling shirt and says, I thought you worked here. Never mind, don't worry about it. I ask him if he is looking for leather stencils or what. I work at that green Florida supermarket so I am trying to help him anyway. He politely waves me off and says he's gonna go look for his wife. Well, in this case, let me politely wave you to consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed these videos. Thank you, like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Thank you. Well, if you are that stupid, I worked at a big roller coaster amusement park in Ohio for a couple of summers. I worked merchandising, which meant gift shops. It was its own level of hell trying to maintain good customer service standards with people who clearly left their brains at home before they went on vacation. Our uniform shirts in 95 look like a Wonder Bread wrapper, polo shirt of brightly colored squares with khaki shorts and a name tag, the sort of thing that no one in their right mind wears on purpose. You could be stocking shelves or be behind a register, ringing up a line of people 10 deep and someone will tap you on the shoulder and say, do you work here? After a while, our standard response was, no, I don't, but that guy over there. And then a point, the one dressed just like me, he works here. I kid you not, 9 times out of 10, did nod and go talk to that person. Sometimes, when you are forced to be nice to people, passive aggressive techniques are the only ammunition you've got. How I will be handling all future incidents of this nature. So a while back, I posted here about a dude who wanted me to fix his plastic bags. I had not really thought about this sub since, until today when I got mistaken for an employee for the second time. It was at an upscale supermarket that definitely is not Whole Foods. Let's call it entire meals. Anyways, rich 30 something yoga pants woman wanted me to get her apples because hers were bruised and she was in line. After my first confused, what? I realized what was happening. Then she said she's got better things to do than wait for my slow butt. And then I thought about this subreddit and how lots of people sit and stand there and take the abuse. So I called her a bad girl and left with my groceries. My go-to insult for these situations has become, you stupid donkey, no swear words, no race, no religious connotation and it still lets the person know that they're being a bad person. Thank you Gordon Ramsay. Are you just going to stand there? I work in a restaurant where the uniform is a white button-up shirt with black pants. I just got off from working third shift and my mom decided she wanted to treat me to some breakfast. So she picked me up at 7 that morning and we got some breakfast at a restaurant where the uniform is pretty similar to what I was wearing. I did not get around to taking my apron off yet and was standing by the whole stand waiting to be seated while my mom was in the bathroom. I was just playing around on my phone, waiting when two older ladies come in. Take one look at me, huff and puff and say, excuse me, I hope you know your customers are more important than your phone. I look at them, confused and tell them I don't work here and follow the hostess to her table. Sad thing is, they come into where I work pretty regularly and I have served them a handful of times. Yeah, you probably should have taken your apron off. You were basically bait for something like this. I'm not victim blaming, but... The Red Gatorade. I was walking through the Red Dot store the other day and was looking for some soda for an NYD party. As I am walking down the aisle, 
I sense eyes on me from a woman further down. Not sure if she's looking at me yet, I continue walking. As I get closer, she smiles and I brace for the unknown interaction about to occur. She says, I feel terrible for bothering, but you're really tall. Could you reach that red Gatorade for me? I am 6'2", so I look over and see the lonely red bottle sitting all the way at the back of the top shelf. I reach up, grab and hand it to the lady. She graciously accepts and we part ways. I'm not sure if this counts, but it was a pleasant interaction and I am glad it did not turn out to be some of the stories on here. Hey, check out more adult worker lady videos here and look at all the nice videos I made for people just like you that enjoys reddit stories. Remember to participate in the giveaway so go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment such as a fire. My name is Spicy and I'm out.